ringing. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Um, here I am I'm in the Shiatsu Centre. I can hear the bells ringing for 10 o'clock in the City Hall. And yet, yeah, a momentous week for us this week because the government has allowed us to take face-to-face -face sessions in the Shiatsu Centre, and they only told us last Friday. So we've been very quickly making the whole place COVID safe. We've got the visors. We've got all the sanitary staff cleaning down and everything. So we can start taking face-to-face -face sessions now. Um, and Shakur has been working away really, really hard, trying to get the diary reorganized to allow you to book online. So just to let you know that, and actually it's, it's pretty relaxing really. We've got it all sorted. We've spaced out the sessions. So uh, there's plenty of room. So you're not gonna meet anyone when you come in. Um, and we've got plenty of time to clean all the way through. Um, and yeah, we've got a few guidelines for you to do, but otherwise, because we use clean sheets all the time, paper and everything, we've got these visors that we use. And so, yeah, the whole experience is not too far from what you remember when you came in before COVID. So yeah, we're really excited about that. However, we are gonna keep these Wednesday classes going because they're so popular. Uh, we really enjoy doing them. And I know you've enjoyed doing them uh, with us. And also those donations have really helped us because we have, successfully got through the last three months uh, with your help, with your donations, where we actually made it and we've managed to pay all our bills. We paid our rent to our landlord to keep this whole place going and to keep the lanes going. Um, we've also covered all our expenses. Obviously, we, covered, we cut everything down, but uh, yeah, we got through it. Thanks to you and thanks to mainly to these classes and to those of you that book distant sessions. So that's really cool. Here's Diana, come to say hello to our clients. Say hello, everybody. I'll go away again, but lovely to see you. <laughs> Yeah. So if you'd like to um, yeah, book in with any of the practitioners at the centre, that'd be great. And Basti here is going to be doing the chat for me. And we've got the usual favourite thing that we're going to do. Um, and we've also got um, uh, something new I'm going to do with you today. OK, so cool. Let's just uh, I'll just get the slides up. And then perhaps, Basti, if you want to turn your video camera off for now, lurking in the background there doing the uh, doing the chat. OK, cool. So let's just quickly put the slides up. <clears throat> Okay, so this is our weekly support class, as you know. Um, we're gonna find out how you're doing. I've got a special exercise this week. I wanna try something slightly different, and then we'll tune into the zones, the burners, and see how you're doing as lockdown eases. Okay, so are you ready? Let's start off with this first exercise. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, get you to sit for a little while, and then I'm going to get you to uh, just do an exercise for me and I'm going to do it with you and we're just going to see what happens when we do that okay so are you ready so what I'd like to do first of all is just simply just sit or stand or lie whatever you're doing <laughs> um, and we're just going to relax and <clears throat> just going to breathe normally but what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just close your eyes for a second and go internally. And I don't want you to change anything about your breathing, but I'd like you to just track to see what's happening uh, as you breathe in and out. OK, so don't change anything. Just become aware of the rhythm of your breath, whether you're emphasizing the inhalation or exhalation how shallow the breathing is, okay? Just become aware of your breathing, okay? Got it? Very good, okay, right. So now I'd like you to do this with me, right? What I'd like you to do is I want you to take a really deep breath in, but very, very slowly, okay? Do it with me. So we're gonna breathe in. As you do it, I'd like you to see what happens to the breath as you bring it in. Where does it tend to go to as you breathe in? Keep breathing in, breathing, breathing in, hold it, okay? So whereabouts did that breath go? And then we're gonna breathe out. Okay, do you wanna do it one more time and just to check, okay? So if you do exactly the same thing again, breathing in as deep as you can, Okay, and just hold it, see where that breath's tending to accumulate and then breathe out. Okay, now I've got a poll for you now um, because I'd like to know 
I'd like to know where you felt that breath going, because it's going to inform what we do today. And I explain as we go along why that's important. So I've got a poll. I've, I've got uh, it right here. And I'd like to hear from you. OK, where did your in-breath go? Did you feel it mainly high up here in the chest, through the whole chest area, the chest and diaphragm area, that's sort of here? Did you feel it go down into the middle burner, which is here? OK. Or did you feel it all the way down in the lower burner, which is basically like a lower abdominal breathing pattern? OK, so let's just see how you did with that. Now, that's very interesting. OK, great. Well, I'll tell you what, I was I was quite surprised because I felt it quite high up when I was I'm up there, mainly high up in the chest. I did feel that when I did, when I didn't control it at all. It, that was the natural place where it went for me this morning. OK, so let's have a look. OK, so this is really interesting. OK, because one of the best ways that we can regulate our nervous system, particularly to get us out of that red zone and into the blue zone, um, is by um, regulating where the breath goes in the body. And there's a whole kind of system to it. And it also is one of the most powerful ways we can regulate the vagal nerve through becoming aware of the breath descending through the body. So what we've got, our mission today is to see if we can join those 18 percent of you who have got that breath going down into the lower burner. OK. Now, before we do that, though, we, we need to check in and see what's happening with our three burners, uh, because there's a reason why the breath doesn't go down. And it depends on a whole variety of things. And I'd like to explore that with you today. We're going to go through and explore how the breath uh, can get obstructed in different parts of the body. OK, we're going to need some information on the three burners before we do that. OK, so now we're going to tune into the three burners like we've done before. Um, if you're new to the new to the class, then you just need to get a piece of paper, divide it into three sections, and I'll lead you through the tuning into your burners exercise. Are you ready? Okay, cool. Right, so first of all, we're going to sit or you can lie or stand, it doesn't matter. Okay, and we're going to place our hands on the lower burner. And just to remind you, that lower burner is below the navel, okay, and it's around here. Um, around this way, around into the lower back. It's all this area here. Okay, and it goes down to the pelvic floor. So let's just tune in and see what it's like. Okay, so we're tuning into the lower burner, closing our eyes, taking our mind attention down there into this area here. Okay, and we're asking ourselves, what is it like? Does it feel active, quiet, hot, cold, empty, full? Okay, and whatever you felt, I'd like you to put it down here in the lower burner. And you can, of course, compare that with how you felt um, in previous weeks. Okay, it's a really good way of tracking how we're, how we're doing and how we're being affected. Okay. It's quite different for me this week. It's really changed. I'm not sure why, but anyway. Okay, good. Okay, that's the lower burner. Right, so now we're going up the middle burner. That's this area. It's below the diaphragm. Okay. And it's right through this area here. It's the whole digestive system, the liver and the stomach. And it goes through into the mid-back. All right, remember? So we're going to close our eyes and internally tune in. You can place your hands here if you want, or you can just... Bring your mind's eye into that area. Okay, very good. So what is it like? What is your middle burner like? Okay, right. So time to draw that or write down in your uh, middle burner area. Um, and you can remember what it was like the last few weeks, see whether it's changed. Um, okay. All right, good. All right, so we've got the lower and the middle burner sorted. Okay, so now it's time for the upper burner. That's the whole chest and the lungs and the heart. Okay. And uh, we'll see what that's like. So let's just close our eyes. What is that like? Okay, got a picture or some words? 
Let's put that in the upper burner section. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we need to know how we're doing as a group, right? So we need to know which burner would you like to work on? If you feel one of those more than others uh, you'd like to work on, um, I'm going to launch the poll, which is um, which burner do you want to work on most today? I'm going to share that because that will give us an indication of how we can get that breathing generally as a group uh, lower down the body. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, this is interesting because we're getting a definite, um, the last few weeks we've definitely been getting more of you wanting to work on the upper burner and that's happening this week as well. Okay, now this is very interesting because there's different reasons why the breath tends to be held high in the body and we're going to go through each of the burners systematically and I'll show you how you can uh, help that um, uh, regulation of the nervous system with the breath. So that's kind of really cool. Okay, so one Final um, question, uh, which is always uh, very interesting for us to, to hear because we want to track how you're doing. Um, we really want to find out which of the um, uh, which of these zones you're in. OK, now, if you just think about how you're feeling at the moment, um, I'd just like to ask you whether you're feeling basically fairly in the present and grounded. You've got a certain compassion and mindfulness about life. So you're basically fairly relaxed and feeling safe that's the main thing in the environment i know that's very challenging isn't it during the covid days it's very important to feel at least safe most of the time that means you're in the green zone now if you're feeling a little bit like uh, frustrated or anxious um, and you're feeling not that things aren't quite as safe as you'd like them you're maybe feeling your blood pressure heart rate going up regularly and things like that um, and maybe feeling the, the adrenaline and everything then then that means you're pushing into the red zone now, if you've gone one step further and it's really just really getting to you the whole thing and you feel yourself becoming more depressed and more numb um, and dissociated, not feeling kind of in your body, uh, feeling distant from everything, that means you're going into the blue zone. And if, as we've said before, these are all natural states of the nervous system. But if you could just reflect on how you're feeling at the moment um, and we'll just uh, share that poll. So are you feeling nicely in the green zone? in the red or blue zone, or maybe a mixture, mainly green and red. Um, okay. Okay, that's very interesting because we've actually got an increase in uh, the number, uh, number of people, that proportion of you, that um, are feeling a little bit more in the blue zone there. So we want to really get you out of that and start deactivating you down to get you more into that comfortable uh, green zone and we can do that the most powerful way that we can do that is with the breath so let's start and let's use today to see if we can connect the breath with the three burners and i'll show you how to do that um, and that'll be a really useful thing for you to do it'll help you be able to regulate yourself when you start getting into that anxiety thing i think a lot of us are feeling that we're going out now we're going into shops maybe more we're going around the city maybe people aren't social distancing as much as we'd like and we can feel that kind of um, irritation coming up and that is the pushing into the red zone okay and that's a natural nervous system thing because it is what it's, it's doing is trying to uh, create a safe uh, try and get us into a safe space either by running away or by pushing people away from us okay it's a natural thing now the thing is what we don't want is we don't want to hold on to the negative effects of that in our body and we and so to be able to regulate our own nervous system would be super cool okay and we can do that and I'll show you how we can use the exercises we've been doing the last few weeks to help regulate that. All right, so are you ready? Got some space to move around. I'll take the slides off and then we can, uh, you can, I can be full screen for you. Um, here we go. All right, cool. So here we are. Okay. Okay, connecting the breath with uh, heaven and earth is one of the things we can do. One of the main things we can do is to start increasing our awareness of the dantian, the lower hara. Because getting the breath down to the lower abdomen is one of the best ways to regulate the nervous system. And I'll show you some of the, as we go on today, we'll find out why that doesn't happen. Um, and we're going to start off by just becoming aware of this lower burner area. Okay, so let's just 
Let's bring our hands together. We're going to rub them together. Okay. And what we're going to do is, as we do the exercise this week, we're going to focus on directing our breath into the different um, burners. And I'll show you how it all connects up at the end. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our hands here. And before we start this rubbing thing today, we're going to relax our upper body, relax our diaphragm. Okay. And we're going to imagine that the breath that we're bringing in is coming down just be between our, underneath our hands. Okay. So what should happen is when we breathe in, we should feel our tummy here, lower part of the abdomen, just coming out slightly um, as the breath goes down. Okay. So let's just do a few breaths like that, first of all. And breathing in, imagining the breath going down into the hands here. Okay, and then I'm breathing out and I'm relaxing. Relaxing all the way down this uh, line here, this kind of central line. Okay, so breathing in, okay, breathing out, relaxing. Okay, so now let's rotate the Dantian to activate the lower burner. And as we do that, we're going to relax the diaphragm relax the chest, and we're going to try and get the breath, as much as we can anyway at this stage, down into the lower abdomen here, okay? Keeping the shoulders relaxed. And what you might feel is that the breath there is just helping that area becoming active. Okay, and that's a really cool thing to do. We're just going to do that for a bit more. You might find your hands are getting warm. I'm not pressing hard, by the way. I'm just using very light pressure, okay? And I'm directing the, my attention this way into the uh, back, okay? So. Okay, now as we're doing this, we can just check our alignment, keep our uh, hips relaxed, okay? Relax and open our knees, open our um, ankles, and open up that kidney one point, bubbly spring point on the sole of the foot and feel that connection with the earth. Okay, got that? That's it. Okay, so keep that really free, feel the, your weight on the ground and see how that just changes your relationship with this lower uh, Dantian area, this lower heater. Okay, so just be gentle with yourself. We're going to relax. Okay, no judgment at all. We're just going to observe how easy it is to bring that breath down to the lower body. You might find it very, very difficult, and that is that is completely okay if you're finding it hard, because we're going to work all the way up and we're going to find out why it is hard for you. Okay. Now, one of the reasons why it can be hard is if this area is weak. So, if you tuned in here and you felt this was a bit weak or a bit blocked, that can stop the breath coming down into the lower abdomen. Okay, so that's one of the things we do now is we're just tonifying this area up. And if you have got plenty of flexibility in your shoulders, you might want to start doing this one. Okay, again, this relaxes the um, lower back. Okay, this whole area here is connected to the adrenal system and to the kidneys. It's connected through facial planes that develop in the embryo. So what's happening here is as we're doing this, we're actually releasing the fascia that connect directly up to the adrenal system. And that's why this area in Chinese medicine is related to the regulation of the nervous system and, and also just general energy levels, which are related to the adrenal system. Okay. So, and that also goes for this exercise as well, because this is a whole uh, facial area that goes up into the adrenal system from the lower abdomen. Interesting, isn't it? Okay. All right, good. So now we're just going to shake out a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to regulate, we're just going to tune into our breathing again. Okay. Now what you might find is your natural breath is already starting to go a little bit lower in your body. And that's really cool. Okay, now the second place that's really, really uh, important in terms of the breathing and releasing is the middle burner and particularly the diaphragm because the diaphragm can often get very stiff. It's related to uh, emotional tension. So what can happen is that can seize up and then you find, you find or we find that what we're doing is breathing like this. 
because this is blocked up, okay? And this is really common, and it's one of the things that happen a lot when we're under stress. So we already know some of the really cool things we can do to release this. So let's start off with our favorite one, which is the turning exercise. This time, though, we're going to use the breath, and we're going to try and get that breath through the middle burner. All right, so I'll show you how we can do it. Standing, connecting to the earth again, opening up kidney one again. Okay, relaxing the knees, relaxing the hips. Okay, feel that alignment, feel that uh, thread um, suspending us from above. Okay, cool. So now we are going to release the diaphragm and the middle burner with this turning exercise. Okay, so remember this one. It depends a bit on how strong you feel you need it. If you feel really obstructed around here, you might want to put a bit stronger and bring the hands around, give yourself a tap either side. If you're feeling a bit weaker generally overall, you want to take it nice and easy and just regulate it by just nice, easy um, turning. Okay, let's get into this. We're keeping the hips fairly central. So, um, the twist occurs in the middle burner. Okay. So just get that established as we've done before, and then we'll just do, we'll add in the breathing. Okay. So now what I'd like you to do is just be, become aware of your breath. Okay. And I'd like you to bring your breath into the middle burner as you breathe in. Okay. So if you close your eyes, you can feel that breath going into the middle burner around the diaphragm okay. by directing it. As you breathe out, I want you to really relax that middle burner, okay? Let's do it together. Breathe in and breathe out. That's it. Okay, so we try it again. So breathing in, breathing in, bring that breath into the middle burner and the diaphragm particularly around the area and then slow and Okay. Release the area as you breathe out. Okay, and there's a good reason for that. I'll just explain that in a minute. But we'll just keep doing it. Okay, nice and easy, no effort. Just a little bit easier each time, a little bit more relaxed each time as you do it. Okay, let's keep going with the breath. Breathing in. Nice deep breath, focus that breath into the middle burner and breathe out, okay? Now, if you're one of those middle burner people, and maybe you're in the red zone or even the blue zone, okay, and you had your breathing high up in your body, this is going to be really good for you because what it's going to do is help regulate that diaphragm and it'll, and it'll enable the breath to sink lower down in the body, okay? So let's just check that out, okay? Just come to my we just do a little bit more shaking. You just shake out any tension that's released. All right, very good. Okay, so now let's just take some easy breaths in. Okay, you notice how much easier it is now for the breath to sink further down. And if you had a lot of tension here, you'll notice that as you release that, it's much easier to feel the breath coming further down. And the reason for that is because the diaphragm has actually release. Now we can actually do self shiatsu for the diaphragm area and we can also do some doing for the channels that directly relate into the diaphragm area. I'm going to show you how we do those right now. Okay, we're going to do them. And basically what they are is the pericardium channel which runs in the middle of the arm. You might think, well wait a minute, the heart's up here. This is nowhere near the diaphragm. And also the liver channel which is exact is paired in Chinese medicine because if you if you think about it, you've got the inside of the arms and inside the legs. And you might think, wait, wait a minute, the liver's nowhere near the diaphragm, is it? Well, actually, the pericardium and the, um, the liver embryonically form the same facial connections, and they're actually all connected in with the diaphragm. So there's actually a direct facial connection in here uh, with the diaphragm. And we're going to prove that because we're going to do five minutes of doing and we're going to check in here and see what's happening. Right now, look, if you first of all just press in around underneath your ribs, I'll give you a I'll give you a, um, a close up. But I want you to just press in around your ribs, right, and just feel what that's like. Whether that feels tight, 
um, obstructed anyway. And what you're feeling there is you're feeling up into the ribs there. And that's where the diaphragm is. It's a very big muscle that runs around here and it moves up and down as we breathe. Okay. And you might say, well, my breath can't go down there because my lungs aren't there. Okay, that's absolutely right. But what happens is the sensation of it going down there is caused by the release of the diaphragm, which basically gives you the sensation of the breath moving down. Okay, so it's kind of like a metaphoric thing, the breath going down into your lower abdomen. Okay, so let's just remember what that feels like and let's do some going on some channels to see if we can unravel and release that. Okay, now remember the liver channel is on the inside of the legs. So we're going to start off with coming down here, starting off on the inside of the legs here, and going up around the back of this muscle here, the back of the uh, adductor muscle, this big muscle on the inside of the legs. Okay. And as you do that, I want you to just become aware of your diaphragm and just see if you can feel any connections between where you're tapping and the diaphragm. You might find You've got one little area, like I have to find one around here, where you can feel, see if you can feel a reaction here in the diaphragm. And that means we found some points, uh, they're called subos in Japanese, that connect with, through the facial planes into that area. Okay, so you can become aware of that as you're tapping. Let's just see if I can find any down here. Uh, yep, I think there's one around here. Okay. And again, if you're feeling a bit weak and tired, just slow cupping. Nice and relaxed, and if you're feeling a bit blocked, you might go a bit faster and a bit more um, direct. Okay, so let's just keep doing this for a bit. Again, relaxing, feeling the diaphragm. And then to balance it out, we'll go down the outside of the legs, which is the gallbladder channel, which is the pear channel, and it also shares some connections there with the liver. So we go down. Just go down three times. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just giving you a bit of a close up. I'm going right down the outside of the legs there. Okay? Great. Okay, and then off onto the feet and just relaxing the feet, brushing down. Okay? All right, so now let's just shake out a bit. Shaking is always good for the liver. It's, things get stuck in the channel, so it's good to shake out. Just shake the legs out. Okay, now just check in with this. Look, if you just stand and you notice the difference between the lower part of your body, your hips, and your upper body after we did the dough, can you see the diff can you feel the difference? A lot more energized, but kind of relaxed around the hips there and around this area here, okay? Because these channels run internally up into the abdomen, okay? So let's do the upper body and kind of balance it out a bit. Okay, so the pericardium channel actually runs up through the center of the chest, so you can tap here. It directly relates to the diaphragm, comes up here, and then it goes across the top of the chest here, so you can tap here, give you a bit of a close up. So I'm tapping up through the center here, through the sternum, and then here. Tapping, again, you can either cup or tap, cup or tap it like this. Okay, and so now, go down the inside of the arms, and this is where the pericardium channel runs. We're gonna go three times down here. Again, either cupping or tapping with your fingertips or loose fists. We go down towards the center of the palm. Now, interestingly enough, there is a very important point right in the center of the palm here that's used, that we've mentioned before, that's used for anxiety and, uh, yeah, calming the mind and things like that. And you can really kind of understand that if you understand that these facial connections release the diaphragm and they allow us to drop the breath, which basically reduces... Um, basically regulates the parasympathetic nervous system. So it's like an indirect way of doing it, but you can understand through the facial connections how these, how these points work. Okay, so why don't we do that? We were just gonna massage our inside of our hand. And this point is right here. It's actually just slightly to the, finger, this finger side of the uh, palm. It's right in the center here. 
and it's used for calming the mind and regulating the nervous system. Okay, now if you hold that and relax, you may even be able to feel a general sensation in your chest area and maybe even down to the diaphragm if you really relax and go internal with that point. Okay, well, we're going to check out the diaphragm in a minute. Okay, so let's do the other side. I'm going to do the pericardium channel. The other side, I'm going to be close up to that. That's this along here, down the inside. Good, okay, and then we're just going for this point here again. There it is, right there. Just hold that. And the way you do it is you relax your, both your arms and you imagine a connection along this arm, down the thumb, and into the point. And if you really relax your upper body, just see if you can feel a connection down into the pericardium around the heart area, and then further down into the diaphragm. Got it? Okay, very good. Okay, so to balance that out, it'd be a good idea just to do the Yang channels, which are these channels here. That's the triple heat channel, it runs down to this finger here. It's the pair, the external pair of the pericardium channel. You can just do that three times just so that you've got balanced out our yin and yang um, in the arms and the legs. Just do it about three times. Yeah. And then brushing off. Very good. Okay, on the other side, tapping along here on the top of the shoulder, and we're tapping down the outside of the arm here. That's the ring finger. Yeah. So. Cool. That's it. Three times. Okay, very good. Okay, so now let's just check in, right? So we're going to stand. Now remember what it was like when we just done our legs. Now if you tune into your whole body now, you've got a similar kind of feeling, a kind of open feeling, an open, relaxed feeling, but kind of energised as well. And if we go back to our diaphragm now, feel the difference. Okay, can you feel that? It's so much more open here. And if you had a little bit of even pain before discomfort there, you'll probably find that's been pretty much released now. And certainly I can feel a lot more open there. And that's one of the most important things that we need to do to be able to get that breath down into the lower abdomen. What actually happens with the parasympathetic nervous system is as we release the diaphragm, the breath kind of massages the lower organs as the diaphragm drops more with the breath. And what that does is, again, it kind of gets more in touch with the lower abdomen and it gives that sense of safety. It goes up into the brain and it kind of relaxes us and makes us feel um, less activated and less kind of stressed out and anxious, okay? So this is really, really important. And I think you can feel just how that, how uh, effective it is. We only work for five to 10 minutes on those channels. Both of those channels internally connect with the diaphragm. Cool, isn't it? Isn't it good? Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we've activated the lower abdomen. Very important because that goes up into the adrenal system. Okay, and we need that to calm down so that we don't get really agitated by people not keeping two meters away from us in the street. Okay, and we need to keep this open and release the diaphragm to let that breath go down. So now we come to the third um, part, okay, which is the upper burner. And there's two main things that we need to address here. One of them is the, the, this is Chinese medicine for you. Chinese medicine, they say the lungs descend the ki, right? In other words, when you breathe in, what should happen is the energy of the lungs should actually descend the energy of the breath down the body, okay? So basically what that means is instead of going, okay, we should go, okay? You can see that's a very different kind of way of being, isn't it? 
okay? So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to encourage that descending function of the lungs. I'll show you what I mean, okay? So if you close your eyes, okay, and just simply breathe in, okay, and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, one more time. Breathe in. Just follow the breath, see where it's going. And breathe out. Okay, now by now you should feel nice and relaxed here. This is relaxed. But what's happening up here is another thing, isn't it? Now, did you notice that there's a tendency for the breath to rise up? Even though this is relaxed, there's a tendency for the breath to go like that, okay? And that's the lung chi not descending, uh, lung key not descending the key from the, from the air downwards. And we're gonna fix that, okay? So first of all, we're gonna activate the lungs, all right? So let's do this exercise to start with, and I'll show you how you can kind of turbocharge this exercise to descend the lung chi, all right? Very simple qigong exercise. We've done it many times before. You just lift up the arms and drop them back. So let's just get into that first of all. Okay, once you've got your arms swinging, the next thing to do is just bring those thumbs out. As soon as you bring them out, you'll feel a difference here. You feel a um, opening of the connective tissue and of the muscles around the front of the shoulder, and they connect into the lungs directly, again, through facial planes and up into the throat, actually, interestingly enough, okay? So um, we're gonna do this for a bit until we feel happy and nice and relaxed, okay? No, not a lot of uh, effort, it's not this. <laughs> Okay, it's real low effort stuff, just lifting up, dropping it back, let the weight of your relaxed arms just literally go backwards, right? Cool, okay, and the thumbs are out. Okay, so now we're gonna encourage, with our mind, we're gonna encourage the lung chi to descend. And we're gonna do that by relaxing the diaphragm, okay? Sinking our awareness down into the dantian, into the lower abdomen, into the lower burner. We're going to relax the hips, relax the knees, relax the ankles, okay, and open up, give me one again, connect with the earth, okay. Okay, and now we're going to do it in slow motion. I want you to bring it to slow motion now, and we're going to do it, I'll show you how to do it. We're going to breathe in, okay, breathe out. As you go back, I want you to send your breath down towards your feet, okay, breathing in. Just imagine your breath going down towards your feet as you breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, thumbs out, breathe out. A little bit quicker. Okay, so it's... Okay, very good. Now we're going to go in straight into the lung stretch. Remember that one? Okay, so we're going to bring the arms back now, connect them with the thumbs, open up the front of the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out, relax your diaphragm and your lower abdomen and send your breath down into your feet. Got it? And we're going to breathe in again. Okay. Send your breath down to the feet. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. Send your breath down to your feet. Very good. Okay, well, more than halfway there now, definitely. Okay, all we're going to do now is going to give those, give that lung channel a bit of a boost with some dough in. Okay, so let's do that. Tapping here around lung one. This is where lung one is. Okay, we're going to make some sounds. Okay, but this time I want you to make that sound go down to your feet. Okay, you want to try that? So I'm going to breathe in, breathe out. Okay, <laughs> good way of getting uh, your neighbours thinking about what you're doing. Okay, so we're going to tap here. Let's do one more sound. Send that sound down towards your feet. Let's just give the lung channel a bit of a uh, activation. So we're going to go down the lung channel here, 
down into the um, thumb, okay? And then we're just gonna go around in a circuit, we're gonna come back up the last intestine channel, that's the yang channel, back up into the shoulders. Yeah, so let's go do that three times. Let's go down. Okay, very good. And then back up, last intestine. Okay, good, and then brushing off. And then Okay, we've got the sounds, didn't we? Okay, so let's do the sounds. Let's send the sound down to our feet. Oh, Down and round. Okay. Okay, here's a really nice way of releasing any tension in your shoulders. You just lean forward and you just shake your arms down. If you feel you really need it strong, you can go like this. Or if you're feeling a bit like weaker, you can just go. Or you can just shake, okay? But what we're doing is we're just letting those shoulders relax. Okay, very good, all right? So now let's check it out. Let's see what we've done, okay? Just be calm of your breath again. We're going to close our eyes, okay? Okay, now can you feel that? Look, as you breathe in now, tune into your upper burner, and you notice that the energy is settling down much more, isn't it? It's not going up so much at all now, okay? So look, let's just try it again, breathing in. Okay, and breathing out. Okay, now doesn't that feel good? It feels good because that's regulating your nervous system. And if we just let that happen, tune into the middle burner, keep it really relaxed, breathe out, release the middle burner. Okay, you feel that? It drops even more. Let's do a couple of those, breathing into the middle burner. You see, as you release the middle burner, the breath drops, doesn't it? And that's the diaphragm releasing, okay? Now check into the lower burner. Keep breathing, nice breath. Relax your pelvis, relax your um, hips. Okay, you get a nice feeling of continuity of the breath all the way down. And that's so good for regulating the nervous system. Okay, so brilliant, really, really good. If you, even if you felt that a little bit, it, that's really, really awesome. Okay, fantastic. So look, we've just got another 10 minutes left. So I think it's time for us just to regulate um, the nervous system via the bladder channel and the yang channels of the uh, back, because that's directly connected to the spine and the nerves run down there. It's a really cool thing to do. So let's work on, let's do a short face routine. We'll do some work on the neck and then we'll finish off by going down. We'll see what happens, okay? So yeah, I do give you a close up of the face routine. So we're just gonna take our hands and we're going to press along here. Okay, and if you remember uh, from last week, we talked about the vagal nerve and how it connects with the muscles of smiling. Um, so basically, we're kind of programmed to operate better when we're smiling. Um, I know that's kind of hard when you think everyone's going to give you the coronavirus, um, but it's kind of an important thing to make sure that we make connection with people, make connection with the eyes. Um, and uh, if you can just go, even if you, when you're safely two meters away from people, if you can just look them in the eyes and give them a smile, what that will do, that will just raise up the whole uh, vibration of the whole uh, city. But also what it will do is it will help feed directly back into your own nervous system and it will uh, help you regulate your own vagal nerve um, because you'll feel that other you'll feel that presence of other people around you and that's really important to offset the whole feeling that we shouldn't you know be near people and stuff like that okay so maybe if we just all do that a bit more we can all help each other out with that 
Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going around the uh, top of the um, upper sinuses here, some great acupuncture points around here, some of my favorite ones. <laughs> and then we start here. This is a really good point for the breathing. Okay, nice and tender. It's called welcome smell. <laughs> and then we go around underneath the cheekbones. And then around the upper jaw. Okay, these are all the smiling muscles, so we want to give them a really good workout here, just so that we can uh, smile nice and easily when we're out, <laughs> or even when you're on your own. It's a good idea. There we go. Okay, all around the jaw, okay. Okay, and you can do this as well. This is another good way, just rubbing like this. Forehead, rubbing around the temples. Okay, and then just wiping, rubbing like this. Okay, all the channels tend to run this way. So if you rub them, press them this way, and then you can pull the ears down like this. Just pulling something like this. Very, very good. Okay. Always worth doing. Worth doing every day. Keep those smiling muscles active, right? Okay. So now we're going to work the uh, neck. And you can, well, let's do something different today. Let's do some tapping. This is really good fun. So what you can do is you can actually work the um, uh, channels on the back of the neck with tapping. So we can just pick them up around here. I'm just doing a little tapping here. I'm tapping around the base of the cranium. Really important, really important area around here. Some very good acupuncture points that are used for the headaches and all sorts of things around here. So you just feel this muscle along here. This is the top of the trapezius muscle. This is the bladder channel runs all the way down the back, connects with the nervous system. I'm just going to tap there. And we go a little bit further out. We've got the gallbladder channel and then this little groove here. That's another important channel that goes down off the shoulders like here. Yeah, so just do that a few times. And then once we've really tapped them a bit, we can squeeze them with the heels of the hand like this. Okay. Very good, okay. So now we can go as far down as you can, just pressing and tapping. Okay, and then we can pick it up here. If you're work, if you've got if you're lucky enough to be with someone, you can do each other. So you can tap down the back like this. It's a really great thing to do. Just keep going down, you can cup, tap, use the size of your hands. If you're on your own, that's fine too, just like me, <laughs> because you can reach up as far as you can here and start tapping either side. See how far you can go down this way. And then see how far, if you're really flexible, you might just be able to get into me. Okay, so now I'm tapping down, and then what you can do is you can bend forwards like this, and tap as far as you can over here. Taking all around the sacrum, right on the sacrum, around the hips. And then we go down the backs of the legs. The backs of the legs. Okay, cool. Very, very good. Okay. Right down the back of the legs. Great, so that's a very good face and neck and uh, back uh, routine that we've done. 
And so let's finish off today with working on our feet. We haven't done that for a little while. Um, I'll just bring the camera up so I can show you what I'm doing. If you can either sit in a chair or um, on the floor or whatever. And we do some work on the feet because we've done quite a lot in the upper body. Okay. If I take my socks off, you'll see what I'm doing more. So I'm pressing my fingertips right into kidney one and opening up my foot like this. Okay, now if you've had uh, a bit of tension in the middle burner and the liver area of the middle burner and the diaphragm's tense, this, there's a point right here, uh, which is called liver three. It's a really important acupuncture point. If you just follow your finger between the middle and the second, big, between the biggest, sorry, and the second biggest toe until you reach where the bones meet and you go back a bit until you get into an indentation there. Okay, that point there is used for uh, regulating the liver chi. In other words, when you're feeling a bit frustrated or angry and things are getting on top of you a bit, um, then you can work that point and that will help release the diaphragm. Do you want to try it? Okay. So look, if, we, if you bring the thumb right there, I'm going to put two thumbs one over the other. Okay. Relaxing my arms. Okay. Getting my leg in a comfortable position. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently press into that point. And what I want you to do is just tune into your middle and lower burners. Just see if you can feel any kind of connection there. You may be able to feel a connection between the diaphragm and the middle burner and that point because there's, again, uh, facial connections all up the leg. It depends a bit on how much is going on for you, um, but that's uh, an interesting place to work if you're feeling tension here, in addition to working this and the inside of the legs, because this is part of the liver channel that runs up the leg. It's part of this channel that we worked when we did this. Okay, so you can finish off the, that kind of work by working between the big and the second biggest toe, just to give it a complete workout. Um, we're all going to be breathing so amazingly awesome in, by the time we finish in the next five minutes. It's going to be incredible. I know it is. <laughs> um, okay, so then we're going to go like this. And another thing we can do is tap the sole of your foot. Okay, because it activates kidney one. It's also good for just massaging and relaxing the feet. There's two basic things we're doing. We're opening up the big, the big toe and the second to biggest toe, and we're activating the sole of the foot. Yeah, does that feel pretty good, doesn't it? And then we're just gonna open up again. Another thing I like to do is just tap on the ground. Okay, right, so if you want to just close your eyes and just compare your left and right foot for a second. Quite a difference, right? So we better do the other one, otherwise it's going to feel left out. Fingertips into kidney one. Opening up the foot. Okay. Opening the foot this way. And massaging between the first, the biggest toe, and the second biggest toe. Okay, this is the liver channel, and it runs up the inside of the leg and connects directly with the diaphragm. So let's see if we can get a connection, shall we? So I'm placing my thumb right there on this point. Okay, two thumbs, relaxing my arms, tuning internally, pressing gently in. And just seeing if you can feel any sensations up your leg, maybe into your lower abdomen and maybe into the middle burner. Just a sense of awareness. And if you've got that, that means you've opened up a connection along that connective tissue pathway, that facial pathway. Okay. Sometimes you can feel it, sometimes you can't. It depends a bit on what's happening with you. If you need it really badly, you're probably going to feel it. <laughs> if you didn't feel much, it's probably a good thing because it means we've already released any obstruction and tension along there and so you don't need so much so it could be a good sign okay so again a little bit more on the inside a bit of tapping okay and a bit of 
Fantastic. Okay, very, very good. So just get my socks back on, and then we'll, we better check and see how we've done. Okay, and I've got a feeling it's going to be a good one this week. I just can tell um, that you just exactly what we need, we all need at this particular um, point of coming out of lockdown and everything. Okay, so let's just adjust the camera again. I'll go back. Right, good. So. Let's just do a little bit of shaking and let's make the most of really enjoying our new feet that we've just created in the last 10 minutes. If you just now feel your connection with the earth, doesn't that feel really good and natural? It feels really nice and open, doesn't it? Very important to keep those feet relaxed. Okay, traveling up the body, look, relax the knees, feel how relaxed they are. You should feel the hips nice and relaxed, all that liver energy work would have done nicely with that. Kidney, uh, the kidney in the lower burner should feel nice and energized and relaxed. Okay, and now feel around here again. Doesn't that feel good? Really, really nice and open there, and that's really good for the breathing. Okay, now you can tune in also to the upper burner. Just see how that feels generally, and then your head and neck should feel nice and relaxed. Good. Okay, so now let's do a final test to see how much our breathing has changed and how much, how different our burners feel from the, what they did an hour ago. Okay, so first of all, let's just tune into our burners. We're going to tune into the lower burner. Now, you just remember what that was like before we started. Okay, and then tune into your middle burner. Very good. Okay, just compare that with how we started. And then the upper burner. Okay, very good. Right, so now just, let's just relax, tune into your whole body, okay? And now what I want you to do is like we did at the beginning, I just want you to breathe normally and track your breathing. And track where it's going and notice if it's going any lower or it's going, even those of you who had it in the lower up and whether it feels more secure there uh, now after doing an hour of exercises based on that. Okay, let's just track our breath. Very good. Okay, right. So now let's try taking in a deep breath, a slow in breath again, again, as naturally as you can, breathing in. Okay. Hold the breath and then breathe out and track the feeling in your body. Okay. Did you notice a big difference from an hour ago? Okay. Just check this out again. We'll do another one. Breathe in again. A nice big breath. Now you notice how the emphasis is not so much on the upper burner now, is it? Okay. You can feel it all the way through the whole body. Okay. Hold it and then breathe out. Now, what direction is your energy going as you breathe out? And I'd be very surprised if it's going up anywhere near as strongly as it was an hour ago. You can feel it sinking much more. Let's just do one more, okay? Breathing in, track your breath, okay? Notice how the diaphragm is open, notice how the lower burner is activated and connected, and notice it's de-emphasized in the upper burner. Hold it, Okay, now as you breathe out, okay, can you feel how your energy tends to sink down? And that's the breath descending as you release. Okay, fantastic. So thank you so much for that. I thought that's just what we need um, this Wednesday. And I'd just like to find out how you're doing. So basically, just want to know how you're feeling now. Do you feel more balanced in, in, in the sense of your breath going more through your body now? Um, or about the same as you were before, or maybe even less balanced if we've released something for you. So could you just let me know um, or let us know how you're doing? Do you feel that the breath is more balanced, about the same, or maybe it's like you've shaken something up and it's um, uh, you've created uh, something, some reaction? Because that can happen, by the way, with these exercises. It can be very powerful. Okay, look at that. We've got 98% if you felt more balanced. And if you feel about the same, I would encourage you to just practice this. Uh, you can watch the video replay. Maybe you should practice it 
even just for like 15 minutes or half an hour a day until you feel that feeling of the breath going smoothly down your body because that has so many benefits for regulating uh, your nervous system and keeping you moving towards that green zone as we move out of lockdown. Okay, thank you very much for showing up. Um, please, if you have, if you can donate, we're not out of the woods yet because our capacity is about 50% of what it was. So we do need um, continued help to just ease ourselves out. Please make a face-to-face -face appointment if you'd like to come in. Otherwise, book another distance session um, or, and we'll just support you as we ease out. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you very much to Basti for looking after the chat. I don't know if she's gonna come back in and say, say bye to us. Um, here he is. Hey. So, okay, Basti. I can't, I can't, oh yeah, okay. All right, great, thank you. I really enjoyed that myself. I tell you what, that pericardium and liver thing Fantastic. for the diaphragm was awesome, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, so clear in, in the response. Really, really good. Yeah, absolutely great. All right, cool. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you very, very much.